the big musky bucket. Let's take a look. What's going on everybody? How's everybody doing out there? Well today I'm just outside McConnellsville, Ohio and I'm at the Jesse Owens State Park and Wildlife Area and I'm at the Miner's Memorial where sits the big muskies drag lines bucket. We'll take a closer look at this and tell you a little bit about it. So this is the picture of the big muskie they have on display and it was the largest single bucket digging machine ever created. Because of the massive size of the machine, Big Muskie had to be built on site starting in 1967. More than 300 rail cars and 250 trucks hauled the necessary pieces. This thing is huge. Look at that whole marching band in there. It took a team of engineers more than two years to erect the machine. And when completed, the massive machine stood 240 feet tall. We'll take a walk around the bucket and take a look. The Big Muskie's bucket was 220 cubic yards, could move 325 tons of dirt in a single bite, the equivalent of a two-story house. The Big Muskie's boom could lift a load, the equivalent of 33 stories. And the bucket swing time from filling, lifting, swinging, Dumping was approximately 60 seconds. Nearly 10,000 acres of land was mined by the Big Muskie. They were donated to the International Center for the Preservation of Wild Animals in 1986 to create the wilds, North America's largest open range preserve for threatened and endangered species. And there's my lovely wife inside the bucket, so you can definitely see a size comparison. This is one of the teeth to take a look at, and here's a representation how big that thing is. It's huge. That chain is massive. It's crazy how big that thing is. I can't get closely once you're climbing on the rocks or I'll show you a size comparison. But you can definitely tell how big it is. That is crazy. It's huge. We'll take a quick walk up in it. Look at that. It's huge. Wonder how many times they had to repair things, the welds break in, how much more steel they had to add. I think it would wear out digging all that rock. Oh, you can just make out how big that cable was. So they have a great pavilion here with a lot of information on it. It's all four sides. They have two billboards with information. One all about the Big Muskie itself. As you can see the Big Muskie was a walker. It's not a crawler. So if they moved it, it would literally walk its destination. It's a nice one with the shovels, drag lines, and mining equipment information. And then you can see right here in this picture the feet that would allow it to walk versus a uh, traditional crawler. Yeah, you get some time. You should look up the history on the, the, the big muskie. 
So a little bit of history and geology and the coal in the area. And then what they did after the fact, the reclamation, the wildlife habitat, the tribute to the miners there. And then the surrounding area about the park. And then little information how they turn coal into power. It's a very nice little stop along Route 78. So if you're in the area, you should definitely check out the Big Muskie's Bucket. All right, well, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick stop along the way, the Big Muskie's Bucket. If you're ever in the area, you should definitely stop by and take a look, see its rich history and how big the thing really is. All right, until the next time, like, share, subscribe. Don't cost nothing. Hit that button. Happy out.